welcome back to my beauty stash or welcome if it is your first time here. Hello, my name is Steph. I would love to have you as a subscriber, so be sure to click on that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching. Today, we are gonna be trying out, let me grab it, have a big case here, the new Wet n Wild Circus Sauvage Collection. Wow, this is a huge box that Wet n Wild was kind enough to send me. Of course, it is Halloween based makeup, but I don't want you to reserve some of these products for Halloween. Now, every year for Halloween, Wet n Wild does one of their Fantasy Makers collection, and the theme for this year is Circus Sauvage, and we are gonna be going through this huge PR box just looking at everything they sent me, it is a heavy box, guys. And I need to give a shout out to Wet n Wild. They are the first like major brand to recognize me, to notice me, to take a chance on me. They reached out to me when I was very, very small. I'm still a small channel, but I mean, when I had like 200 subscribers or 250 subscribers and very little, even less on Instagram, and they sent me their entire lipstick collection to try out. I made videos. Um, they've just always reached out to me. And I just really, I, I want to thank the team at Wet n Wild for, for noticing me, for thinking of me, because I have been using Wet n Wild ever since I was in middle school. I still love them today. You guys hear me talk about Wet n Wild all the time. You guys know I'm always using the Breakup Proof Liquid Liner. It's my holy grail. I use their brow products. I just use so much from the brand and I'm just really grateful for this PR box because guys I don't get a lot of PR I don't get a lot of PR and for a major brand like this to send little old me something I am so so grateful all right guys so let me let me open this up okay um, I have looked at the contents inside and it is a lot of stuff. So what I'm going to do, this is how it opens and there's a whole bunch of trays behind this first one. I'm just gonna set it here in front of me and we're gonna go through each tray. I'll try some stuff on here and there. Um, I do wanna swatch all of the lip products, but not in today's video. I will do a dedicated video where I'm swatching. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight new lipsticks that they released. So that's definitely one one I want to do a dedicated video on. So as you can see here, the lipsticks are all up here at the top. This is going to be the Mega Last Matte Lip Color. Okay, so in here, thank God, because I'm going to need this for when I get done swatching everything, they included a lip mask and the lip scrub. So is there a flavor? This one is candy apple, the lip mask, and the lip scrub is in, oh my God, pumpkin spice. We have to open this one right now to see if it smells like pumpkin spice and even better if it tastes like pumpkin spice. Oh my God, I'm in heaven. It smells, let's just see if it tastes. I have a little bit of lip gloss on. Yes, there is a taste. Oh, I'm in heaven. I love pumpkin spice. I don't drink coffee, guys. I know some of you might think I am not from this planet, but I don't drink coffee, but I love a good pumpkin spice scent. I have several pumpkin spice candles throughout my home. I just love the way it smells. My air freshener in the restrooms, those are pumpkin spice. This is a good one. Oh my goodness, this is a good one. And the good thing, guys, you don't need to buy <laughs> the whole kit, right? I don't even know if they sell the whole kit. But a lot of these items are available for individual purchase, like at Target or at Walmart, pretty much wherever Wet n Wild is sold. And um, I do know that the entire collection is available on the Wet n Wild website. So that is going to be the main place where I link these items to in case you want to check them out. The lip mask also comes sealed. So that's a good thing, especially if you're going to be picking this up in store. That's what it looks like. I'm going to apply a little bit. Very nice and hydrating. I don't know about you, but... Wearing a mask all day, I feel like my skin is getting dry, especially my lips. 
Mm -hmm. Like that a lot. Next up in this first tray are these three liquid glitter eyeliners. These are fun. These are always fun to use around the holidays for Halloween and not just for the holidays and Halloween. I mean, maybe you just feel like wearing glitter eyeliner. These are actually pretty decent liners. I have some from last year and I do enjoy using them. Now also in here are these two lip and cheek stains, which I don't know that I've ever tried a lip and cheek stain from wet n wild before let's try let's try this out i'm not gonna try everything obviously but the things that really catch my eye i do want to try for you guys especially because i don't have any foundation on this is how i did my makeup for work today so this first one this one is called blood bank oh my goodness how fitting for the season so it's a roller ball and let me see let me do some on the back of my hand first so it's a very light wash of color. Not bad. Let me see. I'm just going to do some on this cheek right here. Oh yeah, that's very minimal. Doesn't even feel like tacky or anything. It feels like I'm not getting a lot of product out. There it is. So definitely you might want this uh, just to wear on those no makeup makeup days because it really is very light. Now, of course, we have the lipsticks, which again, I will do a dedicated video on swatching all of these new shades. And then we have some color pots right here. These are always fun when you're going to do, maybe you're not going to wear a costume. You're just going to do your makeup for Halloween. These come in handy and they're super affordable and they last. They'll get you through Halloween night for sure. Okay, next on this tray is actually something I'm going to be using tomorrow because I'm going to go get my nails done. I actually have, I split up my nails appointment into two days so tomorrow's the pedicure the next day is going to be the refill because I do um, an acrylic overlay but here we have some stickers nail art stickers and of course they are Halloween themed I'm definitely going to use some of these I am going to have my nail artist um, apply some of these to my toes a couple to my fingers because this is about as Halloween as I get. I don't always do like um, holiday related nails and stuff when I go get my nails done, but you know, they sent me this. I want to try it out. So I'm definitely going to try them and I will post an update probably in the community section and over on my Instagram um, so you can see how my nails came out with these stickers. Now, one thing that I love that Wet n Wild does is they do a lot of these um, like facial gems. You can even use these on your body as well but sometimes you know I, I know for me like I struggle to think outside of the box when it comes to Halloween related makeup um, just because you know I usually don't I don't do much for Halloween I don't really celebrate Halloween but I do enjoy looking at all the Halloween related makeup and this is an easy way an easy way to do your makeup um, regular maybe do your normal eye look and then apply these little gems around your eyes and hey that's your halloween costume so i do enjoy these i got these over here last year as well and i think i still have some left but they have a lot of pretty designs this one is the stars and the moon this one is gorgeous look at that so so pretty and then finally they included stencils stencils are your best friend when it comes to halloween makeup especially if you're like me and you don't really know where to start pick up a couple of these stencils i want to say they're like a buck or two bucks and then just let the stencils do the work for you pick up maybe one of the paint palettes which i'm going to show you in a second and go from there here's a cat how cute is that? And then in here, in here we have glitter. We have highlighters. You guys know I love a good Wet n Wild highlighter. Um, right here is a cream blush. Is that a cream blush or is it a, it just says blush. Let's pop this one out. This is, I think this is a powder blush, but the shade looks really pretty. Let's try this one out. Look at this one. This blush is so cute. It has like a little skeleton embossing in it. Let me grab a brush and let's apply some of this. I'll do this over here. Oh, okay, there's pigment, guys. That's a pretty shade. 
is the name of this one? This one is called, it just says blush. It is limited edition blush. Oh, let's get smashed. That's what the shade is. It's called let's get smashed. This is a beautiful shade. Kind of like a terracotta almost. Ooh, that's a nice one for fall. And you guys know these blushes are going to be super affordable. Probably like three bucks. Ooh, I like that. I hope you can see it. I hope the lights aren't drowning it out. But this is a good one. Okay, now these are the two highlighters that came in the collection. We are most definitely going to try them because I love a good Wet n Wild highlighter. Okay, so this first one is in the shade Hollywood. And you have the embossing of a skeleton there. Grab this. Ooh, that is a pretty gold highlighter. Definitely if you have a medium to deeper skin tone, this is going to look fantastic on you. Maybe you still have a nice tan left over from the summer, which I do not. Ooh, this is pretty. This is a good one. Let's try the other one. This next shade is, what is this one called? Haunted Hills. So this one looks like it has a, let me swatch this one. This one looks like it has a reflect to it. It's definitely an icy peachy pink highlighter. Maybe there's a little bit of purple in there. Let's see, let's see how it applies. This one I think is definitely gonna be best for um, a skin tone like mine. So if you're similar to me, a fair to light, this might be the one you wanna pick up or pick them both up. I mean, even the other one, um, it's Halloween, you know, it's fun with makeup. Ooh, that's pretty and that's definitely blinding. Hopefully the lights aren't drowning it out, but yeah, Wet n Wild always makes an amazing highlighter. I love them. I have several from years past, um, from previous Halloween collections. I still use them. I love them. They all have like a shift to them. Some of them have a shift to green, to purple, to pink. I just love them all. And I'm definitely going to be reaching for these after Halloween is over. Now, also in this tray, they sent me some of these glitter palettes, and they do have different shades in here. I'm going to be very honest. The pressed glitter formula from Wet n Wild is not one of my favorite favorites but you know for Halloween for the few hours that you're going to be wearing it it's fine it just always seems to crease on me and it kind of tends to come off even though I do use glitter glue but you know you're not going to use these on an everyday basis you're going to use them for like costumes and things like that and for that purpose they are just fine now there's also a contour palette <laughs> white and gray contour palette how cute is that you can definitely use this palette to create those amazing sugar skulls that people like to create it's called zombie apocalypse and this is a powder formula now moving on to tray number three oh, look at these lashes these lashes are gorgeous look at these right here with the glitter in them let me take them out that way you can get a closer look. And I'm gonna take them out of the packaging so that the glare doesn't blind you guys. Look at these. How beautiful are those? Maybe for like a mermaid costume? Wow. Now these other two lashes are more typical lash style where you could use them every day or maybe on special occasions. This first one is called Enchant very pretty and then this other one this one is definitely more dramatic look at the end on there the outer corner this one is called mysterious now this last pair has a little bit of purple in it i think like purple and red really pretty i like this style a lot these are called supernatural all right now tray number four tray number four has some things i definitely think you're going to be interested in and i'm definitely going to be doing a dedicated video on some of the items if i can get it out of here all right so here's what we got in tray number four we have four 10 pen eyeshadow palettes which i think i have a casualty in one of the shades in this one but guys these palettes here and i'll give you a closer look in a second 
These are definitely everyday wearable eyeshadow palettes. Now over here, we have those paint palettes, which I was telling you about. These are super affordable and they get the job done for Halloween makeup looks. They're really easy to work with. They're pigmented, they blend out well, and they do last a good while on the face. So I have worked with these in the past. I did a few looks last year for Wet n Wild for their Halloween campaign. And I mean, I just had a really great experience with them. So definitely go this route if you need some face paint. Wet n Wild has you covered here. Let me show you guys these eyeshadow palettes individually. That way we can get a closer look at these color stories. Now as a reminder, a lot of these things guys, especially like these eyeshadow palettes, they are limited edition and it does say that here on the packaging. This palette right here is called Pick Your Poison. How beautiful is that? That is a very nice neutral fall color story. This yellow right here is calling my name. I'll definitely be creating some looks with this palette very soon as will I create looks with the others. This next one is called Halloween Queen. No pressed glitters, those are all shimmers. Wow, how pretty are these? Okay, I need to swatch some of these. Really pretty shades. This is like a, a deep, deep green shade. Really pretty. Cannot wait to play around with this one. Now this next shade is called Boogie Nights. This is my kind of color story. This is so much fun. Now this palette is called Mummy of the Year and this is a broken one. So this shade right here broke. It is a matte brown and that's why you see <laughs> little brown specks all over the other shades. This shade right here, this is like a mint shimmer shade and now it looks like mint chocolate chip which that sounds really good right now. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do my best to kind of clean these off, kind of scrape off the top of them before I dive into the shades and swatching them and stuff. But this is what uh, Mummy of the Year looks like. Really pretty color story. I mean it has green in it so it has to be fabulous. Now for the fifth and final tray, I'm very happy to see some of the items that are in here. You guys know right over here, these are the Wet n Wild makeup sponges. I am so thankful they included them in this collection. I still have some of them from last year. Guys, Wet n Wild makes some of my most favorite makeup sponges. For like four bucks, five bucks at the most, you get a really good quality makeup sponge and they last. They're not just a one or two time use. I use mine for three months, discard them, buy another one, use it again. Um, I've just never had an issue with any Wet n Wild makeup sponges. I also like their microfiber ones, which Nope, they didn't include those in this collection, but I love all of the fun colors. We have lime green, orange, we got a black, and we got to this really pretty purple color. This one also has a butterfly on it. How cute. Definitely worth picking these up. Um, these are limited edition colors, so I don't think they have these out on the regular. They usually release these around uh, Halloween or whenever they do release the Fantasy Maker collection. They also release Fantasy Makers, uh, I think in the spring, they have a collection and perhaps in the summer it might just be a seasonal thing but yeah these fun colors they reserve them for Halloween so definitely check those out now also in this tray are a couple nail polishes we also have some body glitter up here which we need that for Halloween and then what is this colored mascara fantastic I don't have any colored mascara and sometimes you know i want a little purple a little blue action let's look let's see let's look at this one this is the blue one is this see it doesn't say which mascara it is it just says it's colored mascara so let's check out the wand on it oh my goodness it is a bright blue and that wand is like a comb style it's a really different type of a wand on there the bristles um that looks good that looks like it's gonna be interesting i don't know if i apply it if it'll show up, I'm wearing the what mascara. I'm wearing the Thrive mascara, the Thrive Cosmetics mascara. I love this one. But yeah, I don't think the blue is going to show up on top of this black. But interesting wand on this. Let's see if the purple one's going to be the same thing. There's the purple. Really, really cool. Now there's a glitter one. Is this a mascara also? Oh my God, it's a glitter mascara. Okay, we gotta try this one. We gotta try this one. Okay, this wand is definitely different. It's like just straight. There are no real bristles on it. 
Okay, this is something I can get into. So yeah, you would definitely put on a coat of your favorite mascara and then just add this to the lashes. But it's not like a heavy glitter. It's not chunky or anything, but definitely I would just keep it like right up here to the tops of the lashes, to the ends. Maybe even a little bit on the lower lash line. But it just gives a faint amount of sparkle. I mean, I guess it depends on how heavy you go in, but I just went in really light-handed. But I can definitely see some of the little glitter on my lashes. That's cool. And finally, the last thing included is something I'm really intrigued with and something I actually like. I just haven't tried this particular one before. This is the uh, primer serum. Now I have their regular primer serums and I love those. I think I even have one on backup. This is the one intended for the fall season. It has the pumpkin seed extract and vitamin C. So it's definitely gonna give us a nice glow to our skin. I cannot wait to try this one. Should we, should we open it and see if it smells like pumpkin? Let's Let's see, let's find out. I'm gonna put some right here on the back of my hand. It doesn't smell like pumpkin. It has more of a citrus scent to it, which I don't mind. And it seems like it's going away already the more I blend it in. So it feels good, it feels nice. Again, I do like the Wet n Wild Primer Serum. I have a couple of them, enjoy using them. I think they make the makeup look fantastic. So I'll definitely be using this probably tomorrow. All right, guys, so that wraps up today's unboxing of the new Wet n Wild Circus Sauvage collection. What do you guys think? I love the box. I need to find a place to display it. If you look behind me, I updated my shelves and I put out some of the Halloween makeup I've been trying out lately. So I'm gonna try and incorporate this box somewhere behind me. That way it can be on display for the Halloween season. Once again, thank you so much to the Wet n Wild team for sending me this amazing PR box to try out for all of you. And we're gonna go through a lot of it, guys. I'm definitely gonna be creating some looks using these new 10 pen palettes that are limited edition, as well as swatching the eight new lipsticks in the Circus Sauvage collection. Those will be two separate videos. And of course, I'm gonna be using the little Halloween stickers this week, tomorrow, in fact. So I'll probably post a picture on Thursday once both my hands and feet are done. That way you guys can see what the stickers are going to look like. So I'm very excited, super happy with my PR box and all of the items that I got. Once again, you can find all of these items right now on the Wet n Wild Beauty website. And of course, check your local stores like Walmart, Target, Rite Aid, Walgreens for everything Wet n Wild, including this collection. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink that water. Cheers. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.